well today this very short crisp and concise video is to talk about a very important mcq in which they ask you that what is an ideal suture line in an amputation before i go further let's clear our basics first year mbbs anatomy dissection hall when you went inside you were taught maybe third or fourth day that our human body has got certain planes the plane that divides your body into equal left and right is called as sagittal plane the plane that divides your body into an equal anterior and posterior is what is called as coronal plane just look at me just look at me and please try to understand that this is not my wrist this is someone's knee and what has been done is baloney amputation i hope i'm clear so imagine if this is baloney amputation you have cut down the bone to amputate the limb so definitely you have cut down the bone but you need but you need to expo you need to cover this exposed bone you can't leave it as such so you need to raise skin flaps now to cover this amputated stump of the bone you have to raise skin flaps precisely you have two options one you can have a medial lateral flap two you can have antero posterior flap what is usually taken as an antero posterior flap before i go further just tell me imagine if this is a baloney amputation this is a baloney amputation stump just tell me the plane that divides it into equal left and right is called as sagittal plane the plane that divides it into an equal anterior and posterior is called as coronal plane so guys if i take anterior flap if i take posterior flap then they are raised in which plane come on tell me every one coronal plane first possibility let's take an equal length of anterior flap let's take an equal length of posterior flap so after you will raise these two flaps definitely you will have to suture them together and when you will suture them together then believe me that the the suture line will come exactly in the middle and come on tell me yes or no yes six months down the line suture line is healed everything is healed patient expresses a desire sir i want to walk prosthetic leg is made suspension socket is there the amputation stump is fitted into the socket the moment patient starts walking they starts bearing weight the suture line goes and directly hits the socket patient has pain patient removes everything and patient tells to the doctor doctor what the hell have you done doctor says well oops i'm sorry i shouldn't have taken the flaps of equal length i shouldn't have given you an midline suture line i shouldn't have given you a suture line exactly in the midline i'm sorry i made a mistake but next time when i will do an amputation i will remember one thing that i will take a longer anterior flap shorter posterior flap if you will take a longer anterior flap and a shorter posterior flap just try to understand that where will you have the suture line posterior to midline guys if you will have suture line posterior to midline okay fine you have done it amputation done flaps raised suture line is posterior to midline and coronal plane two days later you want to change the dressing because after amputation you will change the dressing now imagine you have cut the bone skin artery ligament tendon nerve and vessel capillary arterial muscle tissue fascia that will lead to so many so much exudation and because of the gravity the entire edema the entire collection has to happen posteriorly yes or no yes and what do you have over there a weak suture line so two days later when you open the dressing what you see on the dressing is that out of 10 sutures which you applied eight are there on the dressing goes only two are there why because the rest of the suture line went into dissens and then patient looked at it and patient said doctor did you not apply the suture he said yes sir i applied 10 suture but only two are remaining we have to do a resuturing patient said doctor what the hell have you done doctor said oops sir i'm sorry sir i'm sorry because i've come to the conclusion that we cannot take flaps of equal length we cannot take a longer anterior shorter posterior flap what is the ideal situation is we have to have a longer posterior flap along with shorter anterior flap so that suture line lies anterior to midline in which plane coronal plane so what does that mean what does that mean that a longer posterior flap is taken is taken along with is taken along with shorter anterior flap a longer posterior flap is taken along with shorter longer posterior flap is taken along with shorter anterior flap so that the suture line lies so that the suture line lies anterior to midline so that the suture line lies anterior to midline in coronal plane all right the suture line lies anterior to midline in coronal plane so i do hope that with this kind of a a uh, maneuver that i did for all of you you have come to the understanding of a very frequently asked mcq along with its detailed explanation and concept well if you have liked the video please do like the video share the video with your friends with your colleagues with other fellow students and subscribe to the youtube channel i wish you guys all the best stay tuned for more amazing content